A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Today we're going to be making an awesome steak. We are going to make the barbecue competition style steak, the SCA steak cook-off competition. And whoa, what are you talking about? Well, this time of year the competitions are going and since we're all free to do whatever we want again, we're getting back that steak competition. So that's kind of cool, but I want to run you guys through my process of cooking that style of steak. This is a chuck steak and that's what I like to use for the competition style steaks because competition style steaks they have a lot of flavor profile on them and that's great if you want to win a competition but if you have a beautiful cut of meat you don't want to put that on otherwise you're going to ruin it. So this is why I use the chuck. It has a lot of intramuscular fat, it's juicy it becomes tender and it's a cheap steak so you're not going to be screwing up your beautiful expensive steak because that one you reserve for only salt and pepper techniques and every good steak needs a good steak rub and it starts with salt always because salt will bring out the flavor of the steak that's one part salt now i like my steaks with pepper so i'm going to put in a part of pepper too this is ground black pepper equal parts to the salt and since this is a competition style steak we need a little bit of red coloring because the red color brings out the best in the crust of the steak so i'm also going to add one part of paprika powder now you know when you eat paprika chips it has that specific popping flavor that umami flavor that comes from the onion powder so that's why we're also going to need one part onion powder a little bit of garlic just because it works so well and I like a little bit of heat on my steak, so I'm gonna add some chili powder. And now we're gonna add the secret ingredient that will win you any barbecue competition. That's MSG. Don't use too much of it. That's the secret trick. You don't wanna be able to actually taste the MSG. You just want it to be there as your secret to win any competition. Shake it up. And then it's ready to go on our steak. Sprinkle it on. You can put on as much as you want because you don't have to worry about it being too heavy that you don't taste the steak anymore. This is chuck. It has a lot of flavor. The flavor of the chuck will definitely come up above and beyond on your steak. While my steak is resting on the plank and absorbing all of those beautiful flavors, I'm going to fire up my Napoleon Keto Grill. First, I'm going to put in my natural heat deflector. A big log of beech tree. Behind that, I'm gonna place my charcoal. Make sure you use a high quality hardwood charcoal because it will run extra hot. Fire it up. This time I'm not using a fire starter. I'm just using my little burner because I wanna ignite it in all places so it comes up more equally and we don't have one spot of heat but we have it completely divided. Very easy, very quickly. Takes around a minute and a half and it's done. I'm going to let my charcoal start up and I'm only going to start cooking once it's completely red and white hot. Now that my barbecue's hot, I'm gonna put my grill grates on and I'm going to set them to the lowest position so that we get plenty of heat from our fire. And I need the cast iron grill grate to heat up first because I want sear marks on my steak and these need to be super super hot because we're just gonna let them touch and they're done. I got a little trick to make sure that my grill grates are non-stick. I'm using frozen pork fat. I'm just rubbing that onto the surface of my grill grates. It's melting directly and woo! Look at that. <laughs> Instant non-stick grill grates with only natural fats. By putting on that fat we learn two things. Our grill is hot and it's non-stick, so now it's time to put the actual steak on. I'm going to let the steak catch up some sear marks. It's only going to take a few seconds before I'm going to check it, because I want to make sure that we don't burn the actual meat. Now we're not only getting the heat from the charcoal, but we're also getting a little bit of flames from that log, plus some smoke. Let's check the other side, see how it's doing. We're getting some sear marks in one position. The other position is not getting any sear marks, so we need to rotate it. Make sure we get some sear marks there too. Look at that, fat starting to melt. We get that little bit of bubble.
look at that. A beautifully grilled steak. Of course, this steak is not finished yet. We still need to cook it to perfection because we just seared the outside, but we didn't cook it yet. I'm gonna put in my meter thermometer to make sure that I got the right temperatures. I'm gonna stick it into the thickest part. There we go. Oh, that's tender. Now I'm going to set the steak back over indirect heat and I'm going to let it continue to cook. Now this is the perfect time to add even more flavor to our steak because competition style steaks have tons and tons of flair. You layer it up and when the judges eat it, their mouths start watering and they become happy. I'll write down all that points. 10, 10, 10, 10. Winner! Except you don't get to eat any because the judges eat it all. You don't get any, Morrison. First I'm going to put in a big lump of butter and I'm going to let it melt. Of course I want to add some flavor to that butter, so I'm using some fresh picked herbs from the garden. I'm also adding one clove of garlic and some ground black pepper. My little cast iron pot is absolutely perfect for this butter melt. Now this is all flavor. And now we can start brushing it onto our steak while it slowly comes up to temperature. I'm just tapping on the butter, just making sure that I don't brush off that beautiful crust. Our steak is absolutely gorgeous and it's done. Look at how juicy that looks. All of that butter sitting on top of that steak with that beautiful crust. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Now that's why they cook it this way in a competition. Because that steak looks so juicy. My mouth started water. Morrison, I want to eat. Oh God, we gotta let it rest. Oh, but in five minutes time, we're eating. We're eating, Morrison. Again, with the phone. Dude, I gotta make, I gotta make the stories. I gotta do the vlogs. If you haven't subscribed to our vlog channel, that make sure all the behind the scenes and everything, all the cool things that's going on. Yeah. Big dry aging projects. And besides that, we're almost hitting the 500,000. We need a little bit of help, that, that, that extra kick. Push. Just like the MSG. Like we the MSG, be my MSG. Be, uh, yeah, be the MSG. You wanna be my MSG? That's just, like a... Just click here. That could be like a beautiful, like a um, Valentine's card. Be my MSG. Would you be my MSG? Would you be my MSG? You hungry? I'm so freaking hungry. I, I wanna check we it out. We had soup for lunch. Mm. I just wanna check it out. Oh. 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 <laughs> but seriously, look. But yeah, but seriously. But seriously. Like I'm giving this one to you because it looks so freaking good. And you told me it's it's not a high quality steak, right? You don't pay top dollar the, for this steak. The, the, there's so much fat content in yeah, it. But it's a tougher cut of meat, but this one is super, super tender. You gotta get the right one. You gotta spend a little extra to get the right one, like a beautiful black Angus, 100 day grain fat, or like a prime chuck. That would be like a good thing, place to start. Or like a, well, like a wacky. Enough talking. I gotta taste this. It's beautiful. Mm. Mm. How much flavor is that? Mm. That's flavor. Mm. And that's exactly what the judges are looking for. Like that first bite, boom. It really is boom. Somebody, like somebody dropped a nuke in your mouth. This is, this is the stuff that you get addicted to. Oh man, I'm even enjoying only the fat. Yeah, it's so good. Man, look at this piece. Perfectly red, pinkish on the inside, yeah. almost no gray, beautiful yeah. crust, cooked to perfection. But I'm getting full. Yeah, but I'm, we're still gonna cook that one. Look, Eva wants one. Yeah, we got, we got more people over here. I think they all need to be Construction crew need to be fed too. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members. And big thank you if you subscribed while watching this video. And go down below for the recipe. Have See fun. you guys next time. Until then, hey smaker. And keep on grilling. Lekker. Yeah? Nice. Mm.